Okay, um, let's get the thumbnail out of the way first. Big black package. Oh snap! Um, for the thumbnail, three, two, one. Or maybe should I go like? Maybe should I go like? I definitely feel like something like this. Maybe I go. You know. Like a whoo, you see that? Anyway, yeah, let's uh, get that back out of the way and get that intro in three, two, one. What's up, guys? I'm shooting a YouTube video. It is September 2nd, Monday, September 2nd, I think. It's Labor Day, it's whatever. So I'm uh, about to show you guys a YouTube video. And since it's Labor Day, I decided to wear these white pants because, you know, about the rule. Let's get this fit check down real quick. We got the Saint Laurent white harnesses with the nice Acne Studios white pants and like a cam shirt from Zara. Got a nice little, got a nice little pin on it. Now that that's all settled, <clears throat> excuse me, we have a pickups video. So yesterday, actually, I went to Woodbury Commons with my family for like the little sale, check out the outlets, and I went to Saint Laurent and I got a dumb stupid deal, like stupid deal. And a lot of times YouTubers when they do pickups, they'll tell you they won't tell you the exact price, but they'll be like, "Oh, I got this for this great price," and like, "Oh, it's so low." They're basically giving away. I'm gonna legit tell you how much I paid for them, just so you guys can kind of see like the deal that I got. But basically, I got two boots and a pair of jeans, all for under like three fifty, like. I think I think I even paid less than 300. I have to, I'm gonna have to double check, but let's get on with the pickups and whoop bam, whoop whoop bam again. Um, so these are the this is the stuff I got um, all from the same one outlet in Woodbury Commons. So these jeans I just saw them on the rack. They had um, on the rack. They told me that anything on the rack is an extra 30 percent off whatever ticketed price it was. So you know, I was scrolling down looking what they wear they got, and I stumbled upon these DO2, no DO1s, these are the the raw edge, the black like used denim look, so let's go look into it. They're just a pair of like black raw denim, so they should like kind of like fade over time as you wear it. And we got a raw edge over here, if you can see. Nice like raw edge. Um, it's like super like nothing crazy about the raw edge. It's nothing like super like you know distressed or anything. Just like so if they cut it, you know your traditional five pocket jeans. You got the all black Saint Laurent leather tag and then the silver chain that they're known for. And I wonder if these are made in Italy or Japan. Made in Italy. Yeah. So. We have like gunmetal details, but just you know, some regular black jeans can never go wrong with them, especially the price I paid. Um, the other black jeans that I wear, because I have a pair of Tom Man jeans, but I don't really wear them anymore, is like a pair of uh, Acne North Stay Cash, so those are like super black, and then a pair of Bare Knuckles Wash uh, Bra Hem jeans, so those are like kind of washed with like a clay thing, but these are like straight up black, like my Acne's, but these, unlike the Acne's, will wear. So these will kind of have like a cool natural wear that I put in versus like my bare knuckles which has like a clay wash with like some white stains that's from the clay or whatever they did. So this one would be different and these I got in the 29s, fits true to size. I don't know what the inseam is but I'm assuming it's actually not long. I know most Saint Laurent jeans the inseam ends up being like a 34. This one's probably like a 32 so I probably don't need to hem these. Um, I probably wouldn't just to keep the raw edge, but the raw edge isn't anything too complicated that you can't recreate. So, like I said, these were on a rack and they said anything on this rack is 30% off. These were ticketed at, I believe this gentleman and women that are watching, these were ticketed at 79 US dollars. So an extra 30% made these 55 bucks. So like, to quote Jacob J. Keller, don't tell me, you can't find steals, because you can if you look for them. And you definitely should ask for the steals because that's actually how I sold on these two boots that we'll get on in a second. 
But yeah, these are cool, super cash. Wear them whenever. Black skinny jeans. Can't go wrong, especially for 55 bucks. Like, you can't even get, like, some Levi's for that price. So these are super cool. Eh, not really super cool, just super good value. And you can't go wrong with a black pair of skinny jeans, especially if it's Saint Laurent to go with that whole slim Heidi aesthetic. And so for these two boots, I'm going to tell you right now, one, okay, they're, both of them, each one was no more than $150. And the reason I was able to find these is they weren't on the display, like the shoe display that they had. I literally was like just talking to the guy that I was working and I up the boy that helped me out because when I was talking to him at the shoe rack, I was like, yeah, you guys got any steals, any specials going on? He's like, hmm, like, specials wise for shoes, we're not doing any discounts, but we have some stuff in the stock room that's like less than 200 that are like boots. And I was like, pull me to them, pull me to them. And they had more stuff that wasn't just boots, but I was, I didn't really want the sneakers, but I wanted the boots. So he, he showed me them, he pulled them out and he pulled out two and I was like, I'm gonna get them. So let's get over the first one. Let's open this up. You know, this is a Chelsea boot. Two dust bags, you know. If you got two shoes, you gotta do two dust bags, especially if people are paying like over 800 bucks for these shoes, even though I didn't. I actually paid, I'll tell you right now, 109 for these, so don't tell me you can't find these steals, because I found it in this boot. I don't even know. Let me go see if I can get the name of this boot. So it's the, the otter proof in the Cigario suede. So these actually wide from the new Cigario and they're actually kind of lighter. I don't know if you can compare. So what we basically have is you know a traditional Chelsea boot with a pretty wide, round toe. Like it's not super sharp, it's not a super sharp almond toe like my Wyatt's, they're pretty round, a nice like brown cigar suede. You got a pull tab on the inside. Let's go take this stuff out. You have Saint Laurent Paris on the inside. You have like a dark brown elasticated thing to you know obviously help you get inside. Let me just, you have a crepe sole, nice crepe sole makes it comfier than like a natural sole, and that's pretty much it. You don't have too much, you just have like the stitching around, stitching down there, and you have some stitching along the heel. The, the toe is a bit rounder than like you might be used to from Saint, some Saint Laurent's. It has a small, small heel, maybe like 28 millimeters, but these are like super cool because even though it's still like a brown suede boot, it definitely is a big, different style. And these were, these were like less than 110, so can't go wrong with these. And we'll definitely throw these on feet and then we'll go on to the next one. Okay, what's up? We got our next boot. You know, from that Saint Laurent Patty still. These are a... Oh wait, when I meant to say the name, when I meant to say the name of the boots, the Chelsea boot actually was the Nevada. This is it's the Nevada, I just, I read the names wrong. And then this one is a Wyatt without the harness. And it's in an otter proof. Tan, while the other one was in an autoproof cigar. I don't know if that makes a difference, but so these, unlike my Wyatt's, they have a zipper. They don't have a zipper. They have uh, elasticated waistband, and these are actually kind of similar to the other Chelsea boots in terms of like, the suede coloring. But these I got in a different size. So those Chelsea boots I got in a 41. These are in a 41 and a half, and these might be a little bit too big for me, so I might have to bust somebody with these but you got kind of like nice 
brown caramel suede, a darker uh, elasticated waistband, which I don't know if I want like a same color or a different color, it doesn't really matter. You got the 40 millimeter Cuban heel with the nice natural leather, which I always, always, always put a rubber on. Pause and make sure you always use protection. As you tell. It's a Chelsea boot. This one's a bit more of a, a sleeker Chelsea boot compared to the other one, which I will show. And it has a seam here, seam on the back, and a seam around. And that's about it. Let me get the other boot for you guys to compare. So I got the other boot to compare. They're both like a smooth suede. And this one's a bit darker, as you can tell. And pretty much there it is. I'll show you guys some B-roll, then I'll put these guys on foot. But definitely getting these for like 139 and then this one for 109 and then the jeans for 55 like, like come on, you can't tell me you cannot find steals because I was always wondering what these YouTubers saying like they're giving away like these, basically giving away because I could sell this for like 300, 400 easy. So I'm super happy with these purchases. Oh, my camera battery died so I had to charge it. Before, while I was charging it, hopped on the Xbox with the boy Cocoa Butter. Secured a nice double on Fortnite. I'm feeling good. Hit a quick scope. I might plug that right here. Let's get back to where I'm at. Okay, back to these boots, um, I was just like looking at them, they're super cool, that makes it the third brown boot I have, and I think it's like super like important that I disclose like how I got these, so I just want to reiterate like, just, you know, when you go to these outlets, talk to these people that work, they be like, hey, what's up, do you guys have anything in the back room? Uh, like even let them know the price range, because you know, we're all broke boys are, we're all just trying to, you know, find the stills, we need to call the plug and be like, how much? And then call up the other guy and be like, can you do this? So, that's definitely what we're trying to do. And um, hopefully I have some more videos for you guys. I actually have like maybe like one more pickups video I'm gonna do and then hopefully I can do a back to school type of essentials and fits with my apartment mates because I'm in a new apartment this year and it's finally a nice, super nice one. So maybe I'll do a tour. If we ever have it looking nice, but hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully there will be another one. If you did like it, like it, comment on it, subscribe, follow me on the Instagram, chief underscore Paulo. I'm trying to get to 1K. I think I'm like three away from 1K followers, so you know, help your boy out, and I'll catch you out in the next one. Peace. Did someone, did someone do that outro? I don't know. I still have to find my outro. Oh well.